All right, so let's take a look at the, so we're going to have a conference call tonight, tonight at 4 p.m. And what's going to go over, it's going to go over our wave, our uh, our, our SIM, SIM uh, Momo. This is the, the, the strategy that we have under the download page. So the strategy will go, it'll go over the, the, the SIM Momo. So let's say that if it takes, uh, I'll go over all the results. I'll take all, all the trades from 320 until yesterday. So 320 until 419. We'll go over every single trade it took from 1.30 a.m. Eastern until 4 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to go over the exact settings for you tonight. So this is a SIM Momo file. Now, what we'll do tonight, if you go back 30 days on the 12020 and put in my exact settings, 12020 with this updated bear bull file, Momo file, Remember, historical results are not indicative of future results, but let me just show you. Whatever you, when you put this up, so right here it's showing over the last 30 days over 90% off of the big contract on four contracts on the S&P. I'm going to show you how you can do market replay, and we'll go into market replay. I'll show you exactly how to do it. So when we go into market replay tonight, I'm going to show you how we can go back on market replay. And we can go back all the way to March 20th. And we're going to play every single day from March 20th. That's when the contract rolled over, all the way to March 20th, all the way to the 19th yesterday. It's going to take every single trade based upon the exact criteria that I give it, meaning, meaning the parameters that I will show you in the room tonight. And I'm going to show you how you can do market replay and how market replay and this matches up really close. The reason being is that I have a, I have a slippage built into the indicator and the strategy, meaning the strategy, I'm sorry. What that means if you pull up a chart and put in the settings, you're going to pretty much have a really close feel for how it's going to do on market replay or if you're going to trade it optimized moving forward because I have it filling at the low of the Rinko bar. So as you can tell, I have this set at 12020, 30 days back, 24-7. Look at the fill. The fill is really close to the low of the Rinko bar. Okay? What that means when I do market replay tonight and we look at all these trades on market replay over the last 30 days, when I pull up these results on market replay, we'll first look at it here before we start the replay, which I'll show you now. Those are the results. All right, on the 12020 on the big contract S&P. What this is, is this is the, this will be on the landing page for you guys. Gerald's going to wrap this thing, put it on the landing page. I have a bull bear toggle switch. On that toggle switch, if it's off, what it's going to do it's going to give you the exact same thing you have right now in your update. It's going to give you the exact same reading. You know, the retracement strength, all these conference calls we went over. If you check it, then what's going to do, you can refer it up to, you can change your parameters, the upper and lower bull and bear. What that means is this. If I have the I have the bear of the bull set anything above 40 and the bear anything below 65. Now you can adjust that. So what that means, my bear is the red line. That's bear. 
if I get a retracement, and this oscillator stays below 65, and I get pulled in with my pull-in strategy, then it's going to fire the strategy short right here. I was below 65, oscillators below. I got pulled in right there according to my pulling strategy. And there you go. If it's going to be a bull, I can put your bull. Here's a bull. Here's a buy. My bull is set at 40. Now you can adjust these to anything you want. It's, I left the code open so you can adjust it if you find more optimal settings. I like the settings I have. Like I said, it went over 90% over the past 30 days since we've contract rollover doing this. But you can change whatever you want to change. So for example, if you put 40 in as your as your bull, I'm sorry, this is bull. Then what I'll do is anything that any pullback in the market above 40, you're going to get you're going to get a buy signal. So you'll get the strategy that buys here, right? So bear right there. So you can dictate what you want on the bull and bear strategy. In other words. All right, this, this would be a bear, so this is a bear. So the, the strategy, if I turn it on, will fire short right there. If it if you have 65 below for bear and, and 40 above for bull, all right? So you can change those. So in other words, let me show you. Let's well, say you want to take a lot of trades. We had a lot of bull bear yesterday. Here's a here's a buy. Here's a buy. Here's a buy. Here's a buy. Here's a sell. Here's a sell. Here's a sell. So yesterday we had two trades, right? According to what I have here. Oops, let me make sure I have it on first. Hold on, I don't have the bull bear checked. One second. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, so it's checked. Let me show you what you can do. You can customize this. We'll go over all this tonight. Those are the two trades yesterday. So you can customize it. So this is, like I said, by these settings I'm going to show you, like I said, past results are not indicative of future results. We know that. But it's done well. It's done over 90%, well, almost 24,000 drawdown on the big contract, four contracts, 15, 100. There's all your trades per day. So after everything said and done, it's done very, very well since 320 as far as on the 12020. Now, if you want to up it, let's say you want to have the runners run longer. So watch this. Watch if I just change. So it's at 92%. Let's say I want to I want to lower the percentage, but I want to increase my trail. So let's put this back to 38 all 38 to say Look how significantly it changes your results. Now you got a large runner at the end. See how the trail kicks in? Now let's look at the results. We'll go over this tonight. Now, if you don't want to tighten it at the end, you see results go down a little bit, 85%, 84.55, but your total net profit goes up, your drawdown stays the same. 
All right, so you can also do, you can have it way out there. But I'm going to show you how you can use a trail three and trail four as a tight stop instead of a large stop to show you how you can increase your percentage. So say we have a trail of 63 now. Now it's all the way down. Then we look at the performance. Remember, your replay should be pretty close to this since I have slippage built in. Now I'm at 29,000, with 80%. A lot of you will like this with the same drawdown. You took $75 more drawdown on four contracts. But now you can see you just went up around 5,000 in the same amount of days, almost the same amount of trades because your trail is longer. So we're going to go over that tonight. See, a, a lot of you think that your last trail has to be large. Your last trail doesn't have to be large. You can make it tight. So when your last contract's running, you can make it tight, and then you go up to uh, that that 90% of the last last uh, since this new contract has rolled over. So this can dictate that, and I'll show you how, how you can do that. Um, the other thing, you can change your contracts. So let's say that you just want to trade one contract. So entries per direction, you put in one. Now let's take a look at it. So they're doing four contracts. You can dictate how many contracts you want to do. That doesn't hurt your percentages, but it does overall affect the bottom line. So now you're 93% on one contract. There's your drawdown, 375, 3300 over the last month. Let's say that you want to up your contracts. You found something that really works well. We're going to go over all this tonight. Then what you can do, let's say if we just want to go four, especially if you do the micros, and you go up here to trade size and double it. Well, double it means what? You're going to double your profit, but you're going to double your drawdown. So now you can see I'm doing two, four, six, eight, eight contracts, but watch, you'll double your profit. You should be over 50,000, but your drawdown will double to three. Now for the last 30 days, it's done over 80%. You double your drawdown, but you doubled your profit of 57,000. And it's been we're almost 81. So you can you can do that. You can contract size it also. I have it so you can contract size it. Remember, and I like I said, you guys signed the, the risk disclaimer. Past performance is not indicative of future results, obviously. But you can see the power of this thing. So let's say that I want to go just 10 contracts on the 10 contracts on in and out of the um, on the micros or something. You can do that too. You can put this to 1, put that to 10. Now what's going to do is see your 10 contracts here. It's going to go in and out for if you guys are scalpers. And you can see what type of results you get with that. You know, you can see your drawdown percentage there, but you see your drawdown on ten. On this is a big contract, so small contract. The e, I mean, the micros would be three hundred seventy-five, and it'd be three thousand three hundred. So I'm going to show you how you you can contract size it too. You can change your contract size, is what I'm saying. But let's say you want to take more trades. Let's get back to the original thought process, and you just want to take um, these shallow retracements. The customization lets you do that. Let me go back to four contracts. Go to one. All right, so you can change your upper and lower bull bear. So let's say I flip this and I flip it the other way and I go instead of everything for extreme, extreme buys, extreme sells, 
shallow retracements, I put this as 10, and I put this as 90. Now it's going to take every single retracement out there, right? Now watch. Pull this up. Now you're trading every single bull bear that you put in. You're below what you're what you're telling this strategy. You're below 90 and you're above 10. So in other words, anything below 90 would be a sell. Anything above 10 would be a buy. Green and red. And now it's taking all these trades for you. So you can customize how you want to do it with the bull bear strategy. All right, Gerald, go ahead, and, go ahead and shut that off. Send it out to everybody, please. Don't tell them we're having a conference call tonight. This is the Momo. This is the Momo. But you're going to be getting the one thing, like I said, the two most things, the the best things, the thing I want to show you tonight is, which I don't think you, a lot of you guys know this, you don't need your last trail ATR to be your largest ATR. You can let it wiggle more in the beginning and then tighten it at the end or vice versa, and I'm going to show you the difference of that tonight.